We all have a story to tell. But where shall I begin? I will compare it to the process of painting. It's easiest for me just to put down the colors that I love. The colors of dawn that breaks the tension of the compromising the white canvas. It reminds me of God's mercy that's new every morning and His patience with me. In this past year, I got to see Him as my daddy, but also as my Redeemer who is full of compassion, who is gently leading me back to my original design. And then I put down the colors of the deep, the blues and the greens, the colors of stories long forgotten that came back into focus this year. But this time he showed me where he was all along and that I was never alone. what his grace looks like as I had to redraw the lines bringing back the beauty of the original colors that excited me I realized that he did it too so many times there were course corrections times he had to run after me as I was heading in the wrong direction when I followed my own desires, when I was just running to survive, he quieted me with his love. There is a beauty about being underwater. Everything slows down. Your thoughts, your feelings, your desires, your fears, and all the questions, it becomes so clear. These beautiful colors and things to see that you can't see otherwise. And although the plunge was painful, he was there and he told me, just look into my eyes, you are ready for this. Just knowing he believed I could do it and that this year of training prepared me to face what I'm facing gave me courage. I reached high to give him my pain, my disappointment, my heart's desires and I'm so thankful that he received it lovingly without judgment. And I give thanks for this process where I've learned so much and experienced so much love and compassion from the heart of my father but also from my friends. As I put in the little bubbles who are like little mirrors just reflecting the environment, I think of them as my friends that God put around me and my godly friends and as they drift upwards towards the surface, the source of life they are reflecting not only the colors but also the light and in them I see the, my own reflection I see the love of the Father and as I see myself through the eyes of love and compassion I can have compassion for myself too. I truly am in over my head. But you are here with me, Lord, helping me to discover the beauty in the process, encouraging me to look, to ask, to discover, to feel my feelings and to always keep my eyes on you.